Hi ladies! Okay, so I'm going to be doing a bit of a weird video today and unfortunately I am currently having a miscarriage. I woke up this morning and just started bleeding but I did kind of know it was coming because my HCG levels were just like dropping and my progesterone was dropping and things like that. So this is going to kind of, yeah, be a bit of a weird video but like I've said many times in my other videos everything happens for a reason and it obviously wasn't meant to be. So basically what I went out and did was I bought a whole load of things that I wouldn't necessarily have got like normally um just things really that I wanted to try um which kind of sounds a bit weird but when I like show you the stuff it's going to be you're going to be a bit like what the hell but I just kind of wanted to treat myself and make myself feel a little bit better whilst I'm going through this really crappy time so basically rather than getting the like cheap sanitary towels that basically they're fine but they're not like I don't know if you guys have seen the ones actually that are um, like memory foam pads and stuff like that. Um, I have actually tried them and I find them quite sweaty. So um, I have gone today for the Always Maxi pads. They are super thick, I will show you. They look like this and then you open them up and they look like that. They are really, really thick and they have the wings as well. So you can wrap them round and I find these really good. They are very, very thick. Next we have the Always and these are the Slim Night ones. Um, as you can see, they are really, really long. Um, I also like these for night time because they, they go all the way to the back. I'll show you the design. I love designs of things. I'm really weird. They look like that. Um, again, they have the wings so you can stick them like that. I have these. They are lady tenor pants. They look like this and they are they just wrap all the way around you and I like these because they don't ruin your underwear. So that's why I thought I'd try these. I've always wanted to try them and now I'm actually going to. So that's those. Along with all the sanitary stuff, I also have this. It's the Femme Fresh Sport. It actually smells really, really nice and it's just it's a limited edition one and it was quite expensive but I thought you know what I'm going to treat myself because I'm going to need this. Alongside that I also bought some feminine wipes for when I'm either on the go or when I just feel like I need a little bit of a freshener. My husband actually went out and got me these because I'm in a lot of pain at the moment um, and I've taken two today and already I'm feeling a lot better, I'm a lot more relaxed and my womb isn't like as cramping as much as it was earlier because I was in a lot of pain earlier. So the next thing is hair dye because I was obviously not able to dye my hair whilst I was pregnant I'm now going to do my roots, this is the one I'm going to use and it is the Ultra Platinum like 00A, it's, it's one of the lightest ones because obviously my hair is really light. I have got some tampons but you're not really allowed to use them when you have a miscarriage because of infection and things like that so I will keep hold of these and I'll use them maybe on my next cycle. Another weird thing, I love posh toilet roll and I don't know why. This one is actually from Tesco and it's got coconut oil in it and it smells really really good so I cannot wait to try that. I also treated myself to a posh new razor. It's actually got a really cute design on it and I normally go for the disposable ones but today I thought that I would treat myself and just get these. Also I thought I would try this, it is a luxury shower silk mousse and again it was really expensive but I don't care, I thought I would treat myself. Now on to trying to conceive again, um, obviously I'm not ready at all to try and conceive at all but I do have some ovulation tests, these are just the one step ovulation tests. Um, so I've got plenty of these for whenever I feel ready. I'm not actually going to put too much pressure on myself. At the moment I'm just going to look after myself and eat chocolate and kind of just do what I want to do really and just whack the heating right up and get in my onesie and just chill out really and just relax because you've got to be so so kind to yourself when you have a miscarriage because at the moment I'm feeling really vulnerable, I'm really achy, I'm really tired and like physically and like mentally drained. It is kind of a bit of a closure though because since the 5th of March when I got that first positive pregnancy test, it's just been like, am I pregnant, am I not? Then I got the other positive pregnancy test and I was like, oh my god, I am pregnant. And then I just had the scan yesterday and they said, oh no, um, it's a pregnancy in an unknown location. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So to finally have a bleed now, it is a relief. Yeah, I feel, I mean, I look pale. I feel drained, um, my stomach's all like puffy and all 
water retention y and all bloaty. Um, so I'm not really looking my best, feeling my best, guys. So sorry about that. Um, I also have got some digital pregnancy tests um, that I will be using, obviously, when we start trying to conceive again. But yeah, this is my little haul, really. I don't, it's a bit of a weird one. I hope you guys don't get offended by this. Like, I, this is how I cope. So if anything bad happens to me, I always treat myself and go all out and just, we're going to go away to a spa, me and Matt, um, I'm going to book that up and I'm just going to kind of do things that I couldn't when I was pregnant and basically I don't think it was meant to be this time and I don't want you guys to think that I'm really heartless because I really am hurting right now but I kind of, I kind of knew it was going to happen, I think that's how I'm dealing with this because I, I did know in the back of my mind it was going to happen. As you can see on these pregnancy tests, number six is lighter and I haven't actually taken a pregnancy test today but I'm just guessing it's going to be negative. Uh, there may be a little bit of hormone still left in my um, in my urine but that will slowly decrease. I found actually when I had my other miscarriage, when I had my DNC, I was then taking pregnancy tests and there was still the hormone there, there was still the lines coming up which is really heartbreaking really so I don't think I'll be testing anymore. Um, purely because it's just kind of like a false positive really but uh, I just need to clear my womb out and I need to get back to no well, normal um, and just kind of grieve and kind of deal with this how I deal with it but thank you so much for all of your comments and all of your lovely messages on my YouTube channels please leave comments down below it really means the world to me and I will see you in my next video bye